Hello and welcome to another video from Let's Drink Tea. Today we're going to be brewing Luan Huapian, or melon seeds. It's uh, another green tea from China. Um, and it gets the name from the way the leaves are kind of rolled up to look like long, I don't know, stems. I guess they look like melon seeds. They don't really to me, but uh, someone seems to have thought so. Um, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. Usually when I get a new tea, I, I try it at least once before I make one of these videos, but this time I haven't done that. Um, this is a brand new tea. I've never brewed it before. Um, and I thought I'd just brew it for the first time um, on a video just to see how that goes. Um, so because of that, we're definitely going to follow the instructions. I guess we always do, but um, definitely going to follow the recommended instructions on this one the first time and see how it goes. Uh, this is a tea I, I bought from Amazon. I've been buying a lot from there lately just to kind of try out what they have because it's you know an easy place to get tea. Um, it's from GoArt Tea. Um, no idea if it's any good, but I've had some of their teas before. They were decent. Some of them good, some decent. So figured I'd give this one a try. So for the melon seed tea, um, you want to use one teaspoon per about yeah, per eight ounces of water maybe even a little bit more than that um, but yeah we'll, we'll go with that I think and since this is a 20 ounce glass it's a little bit hard I'm finding to get a good teaspoon of these because they're so big I don't know if you can see how how long they are um, two so with a 20 ounce glass like this one that would be five teaspoons uh, yeah I'm having a really hard time with this in the future I would just not use the spoon I would just dump it by uh, just kind of eyeball it um, which is usually what I end up doing anyways. Once I have a feel for the tea and know how many leaves I need, I know what it looks like in there. So that's five. It looks like a decent amount. Maybe I'll add a, a, a six one. Just because they're you know, they're not really full. It's kind of hard to get a teaspoon of it, like I said, so um yeah, just give it a try. Um, you know, if you use too many leaves, which I may have done now, it just means that you won't have to steep it as long. Um, and speaking of steeping, um, this is water that I was preheated, but it should be around 80 degrees uh, Celsius, which is uh, 176 Fahrenheit. And then the recommended steeping time is one to two minutes. Already I can see that it's probably not going to need that long at all, not even close, because it's already turning fairly green. Um, that might be because I used too many leaves. Um, but even with fewer, I think it still would have gone pretty quick. And and the other thing with too many leaves is that you'll get more infusions out of it. So I, I'll probably end up infusing this three to five, even six times throughout the day. Um, we'll see. Like I said, I haven't brewed this one before, so I don't really know with this tea. But that's generally what happens. Um, and then you know, if, if if that's too many, I can just use fewer leaves next time and and not not get as many infusions. Um, you know, and if it ends up being too strong using fewer leaves would help that too, as would just steeping it for less time. But you can see it's already got a lot of color. Let me see what that looks like here. You know, it's quite green. Maybe give it another 10, 20 seconds, but actually that that's probably good. Like I said, it's the first time I brewed this, so I don't know exactly what it's supposed to look like, um, but for a green tea, that looks pretty, pretty good. Um, and you know, I'll try it and see if I like it. If I don't, then I know to steep it longer next time. Um, if it's too strong, steep it less. So that's really the only way to find out, right? You have to try it and just adjust. Um, so I think we're going to stop here because that looks like a good color to me. And then, yeah, I'll find out if that was right. Um, but as you can see, it's an easy tea to brew. In China, where this is from, they, they often just brew it in a glass. Um, that's what if you buy it in a tea house, you'll get it that way. Just in a regular glass, throw the leaves in, put some water on top, and then you just drink it that way with the leaves in the glass. It might end up with some in your teeth, but but that's generally how they do it there. These are fairly large leaves, as you saw, so they're it's it's pretty easy to avoid swallowing them. But even if you do, it's no big deal. Um, me, I prefer the glass teapot just because it's simpler, easier, and you can take them out. Um, and that way, if they're if they're in there the whole time, they keep steeping, and you can't reuse them as often. Also, the tea keeps getting stronger, so I prefer to take them out and be able to reuse them a bunch of times. Okay, um, that's it. Thank you for watching, as always.